As you know, capacitors of different types have parameters fit for certain applications only. In fact, a capacitor does not offer a pure capacity, it also has resistance and inductance. Both the capacitor's leads and in general structure give rise to inductance which is expressed as L letter. The resistance or R2 stands for the parallel leak resistance and depends on the bulk resistivity characteristic of the electric. The resistance expressed as R1 means the capacitor's effective series resistance which depends on the lost tang tangent of the electric. The operating frequency is one of the most important parameters that should be addressed in capacitor selections. Generally, the inductance of a capacitor and its leads limits the maximum frequency supported by a capacitor. At a certain frequency, the capacitor demonstrated natural resonance with self-inductance. At frequencies exceeding the natural re resonance frequency, the capacitor has the inductive resistance which grows with the frequency. The upper frequency limit depends on the capacitor's natural resonance or higher loss tangent at high frequencies. The lower frequency limit is based on the highest possible capacity that can be achieved in practice. Paper or mylar capacitors belong to medium frequency ones. They have relatively high series resistance and inductance values. Generally, they are used for filtering, decoupling, and bypassing purposes or in timing and noise damping circuits. Nickel and ceramic capacitors have extremely low series resistance and inductance values. These are high frequency capacitors generally used for high frequency filtering and bypassing isolating timing components of a frequency demultiplexing. As a rule, they are very time stable and can sustain temperature and voltage changes. High grade ceramic capacitors or capacitors with high electric capacitance belong to medium frequency devices. They are relatively time and stable and can ensure stable operation on the temperature and frequency changes. Their key benefit is a high capacity value per unit of volume as compared to standard ceramic capacitors. They are usually used for bypassing, locking, and isolation. However, transient voltages may cause a failure of such capacitors. That's why Avoid using them as bypass capacitors connected between the power supplies buses. Polystyrene capacitors have an extremely low series resistance and offer a very stable capacity frequency characteristic. Actually, they are closer to an ideal capacitor consumption than any other capacitor types. Generally, they are used for bypassing, filtering, isolation, or in timing and noise damping circuits. Parameters offered by tantalum dry electrolytic capacitors are similar to those of aluminum electrolytic capacitors. They have smaller series resistance while their capacitor per unit of volume is greater than that of electrolytic capacitors. Some of solid tantalum capacitors have quite a low inductance and can work at higher frequencies than aluminum electrolytic ones. On the whole, they are more time stable and can sustain temperature changes and impulse load better than aluminum capacitors. The series resistance of aluminum electrolytic capacitors can reach 1 ohm. The series resistance grows as the frequency increases and as the temperature reduces. Large dimensions of aluminum electrolytic capacitors account for their large inductance. That's why they are classified as low frequency capacitors and are not recommended for frequencies exceeding 30 kHz. A widespread and low frequency filtering, bypassing, and oscillation applications. When used at high frequencies, they have to be connected in parallel with low-capacity capacitors with low self-inductance.